Hey everyone, I'm Andy and this is Neville. Welcome to Namaste at Home Yoga. Today we're going to bring you through a um, few of the warrior poses, a little bit of a weekend warrior practice, if you will. So grab your mat, grab a seat, and we'll get started. You're going to find your nice tall spine here. Really grow up out of the top of your head. Get grounded through your sit bones. Let the hands come to rest at the knees or the sides. And just tune in to your breath today. As we move through our warrior postures, maybe bringing to mind what you associate with the word warrior. Maybe it's fierce or power, strength, courage, anything else that comes to mind. Really channeling that to your practice today. Let's find some deeper breaths, filling through the belly and the chest as we inhale. Exhale, letting the chest and belly fall. Find a couple more of those beautiful deep belly breaths. And if you would like today, I'll give the option to maybe incorporate some Ujjayi breathing to your practice. Inhale as you would, filling up normally, and then as you exhale, creating a small constriction in the back of the throat, mouth is closed. We're breathing out the nose. You can almost think of this as though you were fogging up a mirror, or if you were doing some Darth Vader type breaths, <laughs> it's a good way to kind of get an idea of that sound. So finding that deep inhale, Small constriction through your full exhale. You can feel free to use that whenever you'd like. It is a warming breath, helps uh, increase that internal fire feistiness as we go through our practice today. Let's inhale, just find your really tall spine. As you exhale, let's sink the right ear down towards the right shoulder. Next, exhale, chin comes down towards the chest. Inhale, left ear, left shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, right ear, right shoulder. Exhale, chin to chest. Find one more on that second side. And then find your way into your tabletop position. Bring hands to rest under shoulders, knees under hips. Moving through our cat cows, let's inhale to open up head, chest and hips rise. Exhaling, press through hands and knees around the spine. Inhale, open up, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Do one more here, finding your pace, your breath. And coming back to meet in our neutral spine. Let's take an exhale, send hips back to heels, arms outstretched, find a child's pose. At any point during our practice today, if you need a bit of a breather or a change of pace, feel free to come back here. Channeling a lot of strength, maybe some intensity with our warrior postures, but we also need to listen to our bodies and respect when they need a break, when they need a little bit less intensity. 
You build strength by working with the body rather than forcing it into something it might not be ready for. Maybe your association word with warrior today is patience. Make it your own. Find an inhale, float through tabletop. Exhale to tuck the toes. Come on back. Find your damn dog. Pedal it out. Get those wiggles out if you need to. And then we'll start to warm things up here. Find an inhale to shift forward. High plank. Core so strong as we lower to knees, chin and chest. Inhale, draws the chest forward and up. Half lift. Exhale, come on back, find your down dog. Nice. Couple of breaths here. Again, bend the knees if you need to. Let the chest sink back towards thighs. And then we're going to find a couple of walks up towards the top of our mat, kneading any forward fold. Allow a bend to come back to the knees, maybe finding a little sway side to side, a little weight shift. I'm moving with the breath a bit here, just in and out of half lift. Inhale, finding a long spine, crown reaches forward, half lift, exhale, melt. Inhale again, reach forward, fire up your legs a bit, exhale, melt. And again, legs strong as we inhale, half lift. Exhale, come on down next. Inhale, come all the way up. We'll sweep the arms wide, fill up the lungs. Oops. Exhaling through center. Cool, fire things up here, even just in this simple posture. Pressure through the hands, opening through the chest. Getting proud, tall, strong. Let's send arms out in line with the shoulders. Inhale to get tall. Exhale, sending your hips back and down, finding a chair. Start to rock that weight back into your heels. Wonderful. Find a couple more breaths, maybe challenging yourself to sink a little lower. Lower and staying tucked in. Breath strong. Next inhale, come all the way up, maybe a little back bend. Exhale through center. Inhale, let's sweep the arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands plant. Step back into your plank. Firing things up here. You may stay on toes. Maybe you drop to knees. Adjust however you need. And then maybe weight shifting slightly. Can we start to get light through our right hand? Maybe reaching it forward. Long line out of the top of the head, all the way down to the knees or to the toes. Exhale, bring that arm down. Take a moment in down dog if you need it. And then finding our second side, we'll find our plank. <laughs> Staying on toes or dropping to knees. Looks like I'm doing toes this time. <laughs> With an inhale, reaching that left arm forward. Keep those hips square to your mat. Couple strong breaths. Nicely done. Exhale, bring that down. Take a down dog or a child's pose. And if you're not in your down dog already, find your way back there. Just gonna move through another couple of half flows. Find an inhale forward to your plank. Exhale, lower knees, chin, chest. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, come on back. Let's go through one more like that. Inhale to shift forward. 
Exhale, lower knees, chin and chest, or maybe to a hover. Inhale, forward and up, half lift or cobra. Meeting back in our ever trustworthy damn dog. Let's inhale to lift the right leg high. Step between the hands. Back heel finds the mat. Foot at a 45 degree angle. Inhale to lift. Warrior one. We're finding a lunge into our right knee. Back heel stays pressing down. Hips facing the front of your mat. And then find a hand position, arm position that suits your warrior today. Maybe we stay hands through center. Maybe they catch hips. Reach overhead. Take another variation if it feels good for you. And if you really want to fire things up, think about trying to drag your feet together here. Engaging, pulling up through your pelvic floor. Maintaining that lunge, one more. So strong, nice. Exhale to free, come on back, down dog. Moving into our second side, left leg, inhales high. Stepping between the hands. Right foot finds that 45 degree angle as we inhale, lift. Settling in to that lunge. Equal pressure between the feet here. It's easy to just want to sink into that front leg, but press back, keeping that right heel firm into your mat. Find your arms. What feels good? Do we want to open the chest with cactus arms here? My shoulders don't love this one, but maybe we find reverse prayer, bringing palms together behind the back. Finding strength here for two more. Fire up through that core, tailbone drops. So good, exhale to frame, step back, and dock. Hang out here, or move through a flow. I'm gonna go through a full flow this time. If you would prefer, hang out here, take a child's pose, or stick with the modified flow we warmed up with. Inhale, shift to forward. Exhale, elbows stay close as we lower to hover. Inhale, drawing forward and up. Legs strong, up dog. Come on back to that down dog. Let's inhale, send the right leg high. Stepping between the hands. Setting up for warrior two this time. Back heel is going to find the mat once more. This time foot is parallel with that short edge. Often warrior two people are more comfortable with a longer stance. Adjust it as you need. Wider or narrower. You can always heel toe your feet to a spot that feels good. And again, sinking into a lunge in that right knee. Arms are so light here, but if shoulders need a little bit of a rest, you can again catch hips. Or find Anjali Mudra, hands through heart center. Allowing the gaze to go over the front middle finger if arms are outstretched or over that right shoulder. Let's find some movement and breath here. Palms flip up as we inhale, lift, stand. Exhale, press it down. Find yourself grounded. Inhale, ground, press up. Exhale, sink down. And one more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come on down deeper still. Check with that knee if you need to press it out a little more so it stacks over ankle. Next, exhale, frame your foot, step back, down dog. Beautiful work there. Left leg inhales to lift. Stepping between hands. 
right heel finds the mat, pressing down equally through those feet as we make our way up. Longer stance if you need it. Finding arms that suit you for the first few breaths. Can we find that little bit of a drop with our tailbone? Strength through the core all the way up front and back. What is your warrior word? Powerful. Maybe smooth, coming back to that breath. Speaking of, let's start to move with it. Palms can flip up as we inhale, lift. Exhale, press down, find that strength. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, lower. Last one, you've got this, come on up. Exhale, sink in. Wonderful work. Next exhale, let's frame the foot, step back. Moving through a flow or hanging out as you would like. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale to lower. Inhale, draw it forward and up. Exhale, come on back. In your down dog, let's bend those knees fairly generously. Walk the hands back towards them. We're gonna find our way into warrior three. There's a few different entrances here. Find your way up to stand. We'll explore one of those entrances today. We're going to step forward onto our right foot, getting high on our back toes. From here, think about reaching, reaching, reaching through the crown of your head, but also through that back foot. Our right foot is going to be our main support here, our standing legs, so strong. Feel it rooting into the ground, all four corners of that foot. If the shoulders are okay with it, we can inhale arms overhead. Otherwise, they might stay through center or catch hips. You're going to aim for el or elbows, sorry, biceps in line with the ears. And over the next few breaths, let's start to hinge at the hips. Maybe toes just get light. And we stay here for warrior three today. Or we find a little bit more of a fold. Flex your left toes back towards you, keeping everything fired up. Energy shooting out your fingertips. We're strong, we're stable, fierce. <laughs> Nicely done. Next inhale brings you back up. Let's pull that knee through to the chest, give it a squeeze. <sighs> and let that go. If you have lots of room, just taking a step forward on that left foot. Otherwise, adjust as you need to. Right toes are coming back behind you. Of course, we need to go through our second side. Find that length. Light on your back toes as we inhale, arms up. We're finding another spot for them to rest. Flex the toes back towards you. And then move with your breath. Find your expression of your warrior three. So strong. Fire up those fingertips. Energy out your heel, out of the crown of your head. For three, two, one. Inhale brings you back up. Sweep that knee through and give it a little squeeze. You're good to release that back onto your mat. Let's find an inhale to fill up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale to plant your hands, step back, plank. Move through a flow or transition to a down dog or child's pose. Exhaling lowers you. Inhale, forward. Exhale, down dog. One more that I'd love to come back to today in our Warrior series. We've got our ones, twos, and threes. But find your down dog if you are in a child's pose. 
I'll take you through this last one. Let's inhale, send the right leg high. Stepping between the hands. Set up for warrior two again here. Left heel is gonna find your mat. Inhale, sweep up. This lunge should be familiar now. We're gonna maintain it as we move back into peaceful warrior. The left hand is gonna drop down the left leg or wrap behind low back. Inhale, right arm is reaching up and back. That's too much on that shoulder. Maybe we tuck the hand behind the head, but allow the shoulder to open up towards the ceiling, finding expansion here without crunching through our left side too much. Two more breaths. Inhale brings you up. Exhale, come on down, back to your down dog. Left leg, inhale, side. Stepping between hands. Right heel finds the mat, setting up for warrior two. We'll press up. And then right hand drops, finding the leg or wrapping behind the low back, lifting up and out of the hips as the left arm reaches up and back, creating strength, space, finding your peaceful warrior. Different arm variations as you like. Two more breaths here. Inhale, floats you up. Exhale, frame your foot. Come on back, down dog. Your choice to hang out here or move through one more flow. I'm gonna stay here for now. That shoulder's needed, I think. Do what you need to do, take your time. We'll meet back in this down dog. Allowing that chest maybe to start to melt a bit more towards the thighs. Maybe the heels are closer to your mat now. Let's drop the knees down to our mat. We're going to find our way back into our tabletop. Neutral spine. Inviting just a gentle twist. Let's put pressure through that left hand. Inhale to reach the right arm open. Couple of breaths strong here. Exhale, hands find your mat once more. Other side with an inhale. Left arm opens up. Fingertips reaching towards the sky. <clears throat> Exhale, bring that back. Come back to your child's pose. Allow the back to naturally round around the thighs. <clears throat> Maybe the forehead rests on the mat or on stacked hands. Or a little bit more shoulder relief will send the arms back alongside the body, alongside the legs. If you are still using your Ujjayi breath, Exhales with a small constriction in the back of the throat. You can start to let that go. Coming, <clears throat> pardon me, coming back to your normal breathing patterns. Calming down the nervous system. Maybe give the forehead a little rock side to side, massage it out. <clears throat> Slowly find your way back up to a comfortable seat, whether it's cross-legged again or any other variation that you choose. Allow your spine to grow tall once more. Maybe allow the eyes to close for a moment, reflecting on that strength you're building today. Maybe where you felt that breath really fueling you. Start us to focus on your warrior word once more. 
If you were like me and had lots coming through your mind. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice today. Let's take a breath together, just a big cleansing one. Find that big inhale, fill it up. Big sigh out the mouth. Hands can come through, center, maybe chin bows down, eyes to open if they're closed. Again, thank you for joining me for a weekend warrior flow. Hope to see you again soon. Namaste.